There we go. Really delicious sandwich. Chocolate. Girls gotta have chocolate. <laughs> That's so good. Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. Daisy and I are back at my shelter. It's day two. Two. That's four. <laughs> day two of the build here. In my new bushcraft shelter. Another awesome day. We've got weather moving in tomorrow. We had a big storm last night, so I want to get some stuff done today. Oh, but it is an absolutely beautiful spring day. So I want to tell you why I picked this spot. Uh, last video was all silent. I just wanted to work. I wanted to just enjoy the silence of the woods. I'm back to normal today. So we're going to talk about why I chose this spot. First of all, I'm on a bog here and this is a spot I've been eyeing for quite a while. In fact, I have another shelter not too far away, but I wanted one in this location. I'm a little closer to the view of the, the bog. There's a pond over here that I'm hoping has some fish in it that we can hike to at some point. But this spot right here is just annihilated. It is a disaster area um, from a couple of storms that passed through a couple years ago. So we have this huge amount of blowdown here, which is perfect for shelters. It's perfect for firewood and long-term uh, plants here, which I just cannot wait to uh, develop my spot here. Now, this is in the lower peninsula of Michigan. This is not our property in the UP. A lot of you have been asking questions about that. Hey, when are you gonna get on your land in the UP? It still has like two feet of snow at least, so it's gonna be a while yet. It's almost up near Lake Superior, so totally in the snow belt. In the meantime, I'm going to build uh, a shelter here and play here, which is just what I love to do. What a better time to do it than, um, than a pandemic, right? <laughs> I mean, no one's out here giving me a virus. I'm not spreading a virus. I'm healthy and I hope you guys are too. So, oh, I don't know where Maisie went at the moment. Hopefully she's getting a drink. We just hiked in here and, um, I was going to lead her down to the water. Not that she couldn't figure it out herself, but gorgeous day. I got some food. I got my axe and a saw and we're going to get to work. Let me show you. Um, let me show you the trees around here. I mean, it's just these big white pines, big red pines, and they've just been destroyed. So, you know, the other thing I like about this spot is because of the blowdown, it's so bright and open. Now, usually I'm in here in the spring and the fall when there's no leaves. And when I've been here in the summer, I kind of don't like it. It feels completely different to me just because I'm so used to seeing it without leaves. So I wanted this nice open spot to let the sunlight in just so it's more open. Let's go down and take a look at the bog and find Maisie. But you can see the massive amount of trees that came down and these storms, they're topped right off. They snapped right off the top and they all just came crashing down. Some stuff is uprooted too. So these are some very, very, very powerful storms. But look at all the material. That just gives me lots to work with. There's the wolf. Want a drink? Come on. That's a good girl. Come on, let's go get a drink. There you go. That's what she needed. And, oh, the ice is gone. Ice is finally gone today. Big storm came through last night. It's very wet back in here today. Beautiful, beautiful day at the bog. So, Gonna get started. Oh, okay, let's go. Good girl. Look at this mess.
You guys might also notice I've been dressing a little different these last couple videos. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna do whatever. I really like like vintage, gypsy, Victorian looking stuff. I'm a very visual, very aesthetic person, and I want to just combine the rustic uh, nature of being in the woods with this really just feminine, free spirited style. And really, it's me. I just have never really shown this before, so I've got nowhere to be right now. And in fact, I don't go many places in general, but despite doing work outside in the woods, I'm like, why not? Why not just dress how I wanna dress? I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I don't need to look a certain way to be outside in the woods. So I'm doing it. Which reminds me of one of my favorite songs, Leather and Lace by Stevie Nicks and Don Henley. I love that song. So I'm gonna be like canvas and lace. <laughs> it's gonna be guns and lace. I'm just like the gypsy in the woods from now on. <laughs> I don't know. I just I'm just doing something different. All right, what I need to do is find more poles, and that's my mission. I need to fill in the gaps here and get more poles. So that's what I'm doing. Oh. Okay, didn't need to cut that one. Should be able to get two out of this one. Maybe not. Two right there. Three. Three right here. Jackpot right here. Hey, look at this. Yes. I think it is a wintergreen. Slightly chewed on by some other little animal. Yep, wintergreen. Mmm. That's great. Leftover from last year. Mmm. That tastes so good. Come on, get out of the way, girl. Go. What are you doing? giant mess. <laughs> Got a nice pile here. Good, good stuff. Hey, hey, 
BB. You having fun? It's too hot. I'm working up a sweat. Now I've got to get all these nubs off so that when I'm in my shelter, it doesn't suck hitting your head on these little nubs. Might as well get this bark off too. It's just going to fall off anyway. It'll be a nuisance in the shelter. And uh, it just looks so much more pretty like that. Other thing I want to do, ugh, one other thing I want to do um, to kind of support that, I guess you kind of call it the ridge pole. The supporting piece of hardwood I have is solid, but I think I want to boost it up a little bit with a couple other pieces just to make sure you don't want anything falling down on you. You know what I love? Like Maisie just instinctively knows that uh, this is going to be her hideout. And she goes and sits under here while I'm working, which I think is super cute. Look at this. That's your spot. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of measure and then I'm gonna cut this so that it wedges right underneath. and just gives this, this piece of hardwood a little more support. You get a lot more strength with the grain going up and down than you do with the grain going sideways. So even though this isn't that big, it's gonna provide a lot of support for this. About right there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to wedge this in right here. Dig out the ground a little. There we go. That'll work out good. And that way too, I can kind of build, um, when I get in here at night, if I have two kind of pieces here, I can, I can build from the sides as well. Really nice enclosed area. So I gotta do one more. will be kind of like my little entrance here. Yeah, that'd be okay. Keep you inside so you don't bark, right? Yeah, you're a barker. Oops. I gotta wedge this one better. You know the one thing you gotta be careful of? This thing blends in so good. Almost need an orange handle, but I'd hate to do that. You gotta watch where you set this thing down. All right, back to poles. <laughs> so I just told you, don't set your hatchet down. And I'm like messing with my poles and I just kind of absentmindedly put my hatchet down and I cannot find it. I mean, it is the exact color of these leaves. 
And I've been standing here for five minutes looking for this thing and it's just not popping out to me. I so need to put like a orange or a pink ribbon on it. It's crazy how bad it blends in. And I cannot find it at the moment. I'm trying not to move anything. Like it, I, it must be just here and I don't see it. So I'm not moving anything. I'm just trying to find it. Where is it? There it is. Oh. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right. Next time I come out here, this thing is getting a ribbon. Holy cow. That just blends right in. This bark is loose. I like to get it off because it's just going to... A, fall off in my shelter eventually, but B, it's going to just harbor insects too. Along with the nugs. We're getting there. It takes a lot of pulls. It takes a lot of pulls. We're getting there. I think it's time for lunch. Would you like some lunch? I got some lunch for you too. Oh, I just kicked you. I'm sorry. Come here. There you go. This lunch I made myself. I've got this really delicious sandwich. amazing. Dear Lord, thank you for the sunshine, the warmth, this beautiful place. Thank you for my health and I pray for all the people that are suffering right now. In Jesus name, amen. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. fresh sandwich after you've been working in the sun in the woods it is just like amazing I really do love building shelters it's just so much fun it's like then you can come out here without a tent and just bring out your stuff that you need to sleep but it just feels way more secure than like a tent to me. I've always preferred having a shelter over a tent. It's just great. So what are you guys doing to keep busy right now while everybody has to stay home? I know not everybody has access to woods like I do, but hopefully you can at least get outside, maybe even in your backyard. Even your balcony. I mean, just go get fresh air and uh, go for a walk around the block or sit under a tree if you can just try to get outside and get fresh air turn the news off it's just so much it's just so good for you to turn the news off for a while Here. You better eat it. Eat the pickle too. She didn't eat the pickle. So yeah, put your comments below. I'd love to hear what you're doing right now. Oh, 
And how many of you guys are thinking about a garden right now? I'm totally getting prepped and ready for a garden. It's way too early here, although it doesn't look like it today. Our last frost date is almost the end of May, so we're really a long ways off from being able to plant in the ground. But I'm going to be starting seeds soon, and I'm preparing a garden site, so looking forward to doing some gardening. How about you guys? Man, it is like an incredible day. It's so out of the ordinary, so I'm soaking it up. All right. Time for a piece of chocolate. And then back to work. Why do you do that to me? You scare me. All right, let's go find some more poles, Maze. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to build up this corner. So guess what? I need more poles. about does that side. What do you think, baby? Check out my first video in this series and stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be adding on, doing more and bigger and better things. 
Thanks for watching. Give it a like. We'll see you on the next one. This girl in the woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy. Happy. Happy.